Hi, sixth grade, it's Mrs. Bionsko here. I'm going to go through the answers for the assignment I had provided you guys for our week one review class. I had given you the set of data, including the numbers 26, 36, 10, 24, 20, 31, 30, 19, 34, 10. You are asked to find the mean, median, mode, range, quartile one, quartile three, and the interquartile range. So let's get to work on how you guys should have done that. You all should have submitted your assignment to me by now. We're just gonna go through it so you can have an idea of how you did. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So I have 10, 10, 19, 20, 24, 26, 30, 31, 34, 36. I'm gonna double check. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 numbers when I started. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I have all 10 numbers down here. First thing on my list is mean. Remember, the mean is the average of the numbers. We find the average by adding them all up and then dividing by the number of data in the set. So I'm going to add all my numbers up. 10 plus 10, plus 19, plus 20, plus 24, plus 26, plus 30, plus 31, plus 34, plus 36. My total is 240, and now I will divide it by, remember we just counted, we have 10 numbers in our set. So my average, my mean is 24. All right, now the median is the number that's exactly in the middle of the set of data. We use this by kind of knocking a number off the high end and a number off the low end and working our way in toward the middle. So if I take the high end and the low end, one, two, three, four, and now I have two numbers left here. I have 24 and 26. So to find out what the median is, what's the number exactly in the center, I'm going to have to figure out what comes in between 24 and 26. So in this case, 25 comes in between 24 and 26. So this is my median. Okay, mode is the number that appears or repeats the most often. In this case, our number 10 appears twice, and that's the only number that repeats. So our mode is the number 10. To find the range, we want to know the range of data by subtracting the lowest number from the highest. So if we do 36, minus 10, we find out our range is 26. Now the new lesson Mrs. Shea had provided the video for, and I also included it in the lesson, was to find our quartile one and quartile three. Now these are just finding the median over again, but of the different halves. So quartile one is the median of this first half of numbers where we split them. Quartile three is the median, that means the middle of, the back half of the numbers where we had split them. So let's find Q1. Remember, we find the median by knocking one off the high end and one off the low end and working our way into the middle. So one off the high, one off the low, one off the high, one off the low, and the number in the middle is 19. So quartile one is 19. Now we're gonna do the same thing and find the median on this half. One off the high, one off the low, 
one off the high end, one off the low end, and 31 is in the middle, so that is quartile three. And the last thing you were asked to find was the interquartile range. To find that, we take our number from Q3, 31, and we subtract our number from Q1, 19. 31 minus 19 is 12. So our interquartile range is 12. All right, guys, that's your homework from your assignment for review class week one. Any questions, you know how to reach me. Bye, guys.